The top U.S. law enforcement officer has concluded a five-day visit to Kenya, pledging to continue working with the East African nation to ensure peace and stability in the region. FBI Director Christopher Wray said continued cooperation and collaboration with Kenya security agencies is needed to deal with ongoing terror threats from groups such as Al-Shabaab. Mohammed Yusuf reports. The United States Federal Bureau of Investigation will partner with Kenya's security agencies to enhance operations for the stability of Kenya and the region. Speaking at Kenya's Directorate of Criminal Investigations, DCI, FBI Director Christopher Ray said there was a need to work together to stop criminals who threaten the country and global peace and stability. I have said before that the bad guys are not constrained by international borders, so the good guys should not be either. And together, leveraging our collective insights and authorities and perspectives, we're making a huge impact on the threats we face. Terrorism, of course, very much top among them. While in Kenya, the FBI had visited shopping malls, a national park, and the Dusi D2 hotel, which was attacked by Al-Shabaab militants in January 2019, resulting in the deaths of 21 people. In February 2020, a year after the Ducit D2 hotel terror attack, the FBI and the U.S. State Department partnered to assist Kenya in creating the Joint Terrorism Task Force, which consists of the country's security agencies and some ministries. The agencies rely on each other's expertise to fight threats, Kenyan security agencies have been accused of lacking coordination in dealing with terrorists when they storm populated areas like the Westgate Mall attack in 2013 and the Garissa University attack in 2015. Kenya's head of the Directorate of Criminal Investigations, Amin Mohammed, said the Joint Terrorism Task Force has helped his country provide better security to its citizens and visitors. Our various security agencies were operating in silos. Then we said, why can't we all bring them like a one-stop shop, where by now we can exchange information and ideas, and we have really registered a lot of success. Kenyan security expert Richard Tuta says a security collaboration can defeat criminals who have defied borders. I think what is of importance is that aspect of collaboration. Collaboration in terms of intelligence gathering, intelligence uh, analyzing and intelligence dissemination. One thing that uh, we should agree among us, all of us that uh, it, it takes a network to beat a network. Criminals are uh, networked, so security agencies also must be networked. He said there are also more persistent security threats and challenges in the world that require U.S. support for Kenya to manage. The Al-Qaeda-linked terror group Al-Shabaab has been unsuccessful in conducting terror attacks in the capital Nairobi for the last couple of years, but the group continues to carry out attacks against government forces and civilians in northeastern and coastal regions that border Somalia. Mohamed Yusuf, VOA News. Rwanda has named the statistics official Yusuf Mulangwa as its new finance minister. Prime Minister Edward Ngilente said while the foreign minister will be Olivier Nduhungirehi, its ambassador to the Netherlands. The appointments were unveiled in a statement on Wednesday along with those of ministers holding the portfolios of public service and labor, gender and family promotion and the environment. Mulangwe, the new finance minister, was director general of the government statistics office, the National Institute of Statistics of Rwanda, until his appointment. The statement did not say where the former occupant, Uziel Ndangi Jimanar, had been reassigned. However, although Ndohungilehe's predecessor will go to the Interior Ministry, Gilente said in a statement, Rwanda is set to hold its presidential election on July 15, 2024.